Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Random by A. My name is Aurelia, but you can call me Ari. And today we're going to review new Kiss Falscara lashes. And I plan to do two part video. This is going to be my part one where I'm gonna try apply those and see how easy and quick I can do it. And after this I'm gonna make a video with like falling off like every day and how long I can keep it. Before we jump into the video, don't forget to subscribe and push bell notification if you would like to be notified every single time I post a new video. And smash the like button because why not? It would really help to my channel. Without further ado, let's go jump into the video. <laughs> A new version of Felscara. There was a release other version, um, if I'm not mistaken, around 2019 in December. And I think so those started blowing up when quarantine started. The first version I'm gonna put on the screen somewhere here. It's like in a pink package and it's have in this package same as this one, bond and seal. But the first version it didn't say how long you can wear. Uh, I would assume they suggest to wear just one day and remove it after you use. And it says that it's reusable when you're using makeup cleaner, alcohol, or they have a special mascara makeup remover. I saw that people start talking, especially recently, about this version. So I'm not sure when this was released. This one's claimed that it's last up to 10 days. So it would be interesting to see how exactly long you can keep them on your eyes. I saw quite a few videos like in the TikToks and it's looked super easy. Okay, let's be honest with you guys. I love fake lashes. I like to wear them, but it's like, it's a struggle to apply them. For me, it's taking sometimes forever. It will be interesting to see how easy I can apply these lashes. If it's work, if it's last, it says that it's have wisps. Wisps are designed with a micro blend and feather like fibers to be applied easily, seamlessly, and comfortably under the natural lash. If you're not familiar with this, you apply not on top of your lashes as regularly you do, you put underneath. It's have applicator, it's have a bond infused with biotin, bond is non damaging and primes the natural lashes, prep them for a visit. So as I hear from other people, it's making your lashes tacky and sticky, so it's like really easily you can just stick to your natural lashes. After this you put seal formulated with nourishing with vitamin E, seal removes any tacky residue and locks the wisp in the place for all day but this packaging says it's last up to 10 days. And then we have an overnighter reinforced formula for extended wear with stronger hold for maintaining wisps in a fresh condition. Step one, bond time. So you brush a light coat of bond on natural lashes. A little goes a long way. You need to apply just a little bit. Then step two, wisp under lashes. So you put the wisp on the parts under your lashes, then seal the deal, then you brush it seal and then is optional step if you would like to that your wisp would last slightly longer uh, when using overnighter for extended wear apply an additional thin line under the wisp slightly away from wisp bands reapply two three times additional coats for maximize strength as needed sounds fairly easy i think so it's time to zoom you in sure why i'm feeling nervous let's put my hair let's start First, I'm gonna try brush my natural lashes. I don't want that they would stick together. I'm gonna try to um, curl a little bit. It's a cute little spoolie. It's look that it would be really detailed. First, I'm gonna apply a long. I'm not sure how fast I need to move. Be careful, it's like sticking to even your natural lashes. Looks like when you're watching, it's look much easier than when you try to do.
careful when you try remove it it's like when I try remove it I kind of pluck some lashes on like this it's a whole journey finally I got two in the place As you can see, it's not that easy for me. <laughs> this one lash stuck and it starts poking my eye. I'm not going to give up and try one more time. Or anyone else would quit and you're not going to stop there. No, what are you waiting for? Okay, let's gonna try to remove this and try one more time okay after some crying cleaning and makeup reapplying we are back I still have my eye in the place at least it's good to know that this one's remover working pretty nice okay shot two this time I'm gonna try to apply just parts as like I saw one girl apply and apply bond lash bond lash I'm gonna start with this eye since I wanna let this eye stay a little bit finally maybe I got it the first one look like when you're lifting your lid it's help a little bit From far it doesn't look that bad, but like it's <sighs> need to practice. And if you would like to get a more natural look, probably you can stop right here. Whew. I think I won't try apply one more. Okay, look like I survived. Whew. If you want to blend, they suggest you push with this tool kind of scared to rip them off I'm not sure how people walk with them 10 days <laughs> it's poking my eye okay I'm going to apply other side of the camera and we can jump into the next step we are back with the both sides the side after a while start feeling fairly comfortable I can't feel anything for this side, I'm not sure if it's like me to stay for a while and like the bond that starts staying in the place. I can feel slightly on the side. And in this part, you can see it's like some lashes sticking together. I'm not a huge fan of this part. This one's even looking slightly better. Let's seal the deal how it says on the package and we will see how this like removes the stickiness. It's a clear wand. Does it say how much I need to apply this? I think so. Let's get dry from the far. It doesn't look that bad if you're getting closer. Maybe you can see the separate parts. Maybe in this side, at least in the beginning, I did a better job. Just this last one. Get a little bit more in the awkward side. On the camera, it doesn't look terrible at all. And the last step overnight. We apply two, three additional coats, maximize strength as needed. Oh, it's a different one. It's like a liner tip. Okay, I'm not sure how long it's need to stay till it's dry. It doesn't say on the packaging. Yeah, I need to apply at least 
one more coat. I'm gonna apply the second layer of the camera and then see how it's looking zoomed out. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. Applied like a second layer. My suggestion would be be careful because I'm not sure if you're able to see. I'm gonna try to show closer. If you put this overnight and slightly too much, it's like looking a little bit clumpy. On this side, I did maybe a little bit better. But then in this one, it's like can see like bubbles okay what a journey for the experiment I'm gonna keep those I have like one more shot to try after this after see how wearing off this set from the far it's looking not bad maybe my application isn't the best it's like practice makes it perfect so like i said i'm gonna try give a shot after I finish wearing those maybe second time going to be a better so as i mentioned i'm gonna do a part two as well for this one i'm gonna vlog uh, every day how i feel and how those lashes looking see my thoughts after wear those lashes longer time if it those lashes going to survive even one night so we will see if it's going to stay how it's claimed on the box up to 10 days I will be happy if it stays like even three days <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to push subscribe button turn on bell notification if you would like to be a notified every single time I post a new video even part two for this video and see how those lashes lasted on my eyes don't forget to push like button that would really help to my still a new channel leave a comment down below if you have a question suggestions for the future videos or if you try kiss mascara and share your experience if you struggle or if it was easy i hope you like this video and hope to see you in the next one bye